Hey guys, very good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. A very, very cold Dhaka today. Uh, yesterday it started raining, drizzling, and it's actually getting stormy in the coastal area. So due to that, we are experiencing extremely cold weather. So we basically got like, I went out without jacket and um, umbrella, almost caught a cold and stuff. Very cold weather. So this morning I woke up, the water is freezing and I went out for walk and everything. My scent of the morning was this beautiful my Burberry black i really love this fragrance this one just uh, five sprays it just projected so beautifully so one other thing to remember is always check your weathers and wear fragrances that goes with it this one if you wear it in the hot weather this particular fragrance it just goes uh, too powdery too thick in the cold weather it just smells perfect you know it just smells beautiful so you know you have to know when to wear what right and then i just carried just in case I carried a small decanter of uh, Cedrat Boise, I thought if I need to reapply in the middle of walk just to enjoy, I didn't need it you know, because the Burberry was strong enough. So now today, let's look at something very exciting. I wanted to initial impression. Uh, I usually uh, do not do initial impression that much anymore. Uh, I just do full on review, but I am very excited. And uh, today, uh, I would like to do this fragrance review. Just want to put out there what Mansara is doing with their latest collection. So I believe uh, this is one of the latest release and first of all i'd like to say thanks to my good friend uh we haven't met we don't talk much i don't even know his name the bond creep guy i hope uh you join us brother in fracom bangladesh so i get to know you in person so he's the one who did this review first and the fragrance we're looking at sorry it's called uh, purple flowers when he did the review he mentioned me and eric Eric is the guy who actually is the Mansara dude. I know Mansara and Montel because of him. So thanks, uh, Mr. Boncrete guy for mentioning me and you're even willing to send me a sample uh, for me to try it. And uh, I mentioned it in Fragrantico when I wrote the review on this fragrance, right? So let's see what we get from this and uh, initially, okay? So first of all, uh, it's, it's coming from uh, this line. I mean, if you see Mansara Red Tobacco, it has a similar bottle, 120 mil, of course, but the bottle design is a little bit different, right? I'll show you. And they have five in the collection. I think there's one black vanilla, there's one uh, gold owl or something like that. I forgot the name. Um, purple flowers, pink flowers or something. And then uh, the red tobacco. There are five very colorful, beautiful looking presentation. These are expensive, by the way, because these are brand new. Maybe after two, three years, they're going to get a uh, little bit cheaper. So all the information out there, let's try it. I think they come in maybe smaller bottle sizes. I'm not sure, 30 and 60 ml perhaps, i never seen them. So this is the box that comes in. And this one, the fragrance, actually I would say the credit goes to Mr. Masood, Masood Al Mahdi Bhai, for bringing me this all the way from UAE. Uh, and uh, these are very difficult to find. And uh, thank you, brother, for finding this. You can buy these perfumes in Perfume Bangladesh. Uh, I'll leave the link below. You can check with them. They're the only one who are bringing this so far. So beautiful looking box as usual. It has this new logo thingy. And then purple is written in purple. 120 mil EDP and this is from the floral collection I think the back some more information made in France and uh, bottom it's like this and basically a yeah, very s like a same old uh, Mansara presentation and Mansara is a sister concern sort of like of Montel so Montel Pierre Montel is perfumer for all these fragrance for both Mansara and Montel and they give you this beautiful pouch as well uh, first of all again if you haven't seen my previous uh, 15 Mansara reviews, this is my 16 fragrance. Uh, when you open the bottle first time from the pouch, do not pull it by the cap, okay? Like it's really airtight in there and the neck of this fragrance are not that strong. So what you do is when you open, just give you caution and then slowly push the bottle from beneath and then pull the bottle. In that way, it will come out much easier. Just a caution so that you do not face any uh, <coughs> hazard. So that's basically that. And the main attraction of this, one of the attraction anyway, I would say is the bottle. This bottle I wanted for a long time. Since I saw the review, I really wanted to sniff it and look at that bottle, guys, for a presentation. Okay. This kind of fragrance is, you know, just want to get for the bottle. Look at that color. Okay. This built, I think, internet from women, but this fragrance, just like Bond Crate Guy says, I would say this is, you wear what you want to wear. And it's pretty much unisex to my nose. So that's the name, Purple Flowers, 120 mil EDP bottom is like golden plastic the cap is cap got nice sort of detailing here the logo and it is a screw on when you open it this atomizer you can remove this but i usually do not remove it because this is kind of tricky spray on this is very very good so uh let's spray this and talk about it initial impression what i got um let's see spray is okay on this so yeah uh let's let's see what you get so fragmentic if you go uh, 
you will see not that many reviews or written reviews or comments because not that many people actually experienced it. Most of the reviewers didn't even get a chance to review it or sniff it. So I, I feel blessed, okay, let that settle down. And some people actually said, like one of the comments said, one of the brothers said, uh, I wish this one smelled like orchid or some of the purple flowers or something like violets and stuff. And it would give you the feeling of purple flowers. This is a floral fragrance, okay? And floral oriental, I would say. Uh, another guy said it's a uh, violet bomb. It's all he gets is violet. Violet is color like this. So I'll let you know what I think about it. And uh, first thing, this is a floral fragrance. Caution to air, caution in the air, that is, if you do not like florals, uh, maybe it's not your uh, ballpark. If you do not like rose, maybe you shouldn't try this. But here is the good thing, here's the interesting thing. First thing that came to my mind is like, I smelled this before, where did I smell it? And I couldn't remember quite, and uh, I just had thought of it like, while well, I was wearing it, this one has beast mode performance. So on the sixth hour, seventh hour, I immediately came to me like this. I smelled this kind of DNA before. Remember Declaration Dun Soir by Cartier, the masterpiece, I heard is getting discontinued. If you like the DNA of this fragrance, if you like Amouage Lyric Man, even if you like the flanker of that one, Cartier Declaration Dun Soir uh, Intense, definitely, definitely check this fragrance out. This is a beautiful rose-based fragrance, okay? And the rose is not just a, like only one note. I get some other notes around it, let me tell you. So when you sniff it for the first time, it's kind of this color, okay? And uh, what I mean by this color is if you can imagine a smell that looks like this. I mean, if, if you can sniff this color, it will smell like purple flowers. It opens up beautiful citruses. At the same time, it feels a little bit like lavender, but it's not lavender. So it's kind of like a citrusy, fruity opening. And then a little bit, they say fig leaf, like green fig leaf. So touch of fruits and green and then at the heart when you go that's when the beautiful floral start like coming out it's not just a rose by the way but i believe there's something like orchid you know you see if you see beautiful orchid i imagine this would smell like that and i do agree with mr bond creek guy this smells amazing heavenly no alcohol blast uh, nothing uh, synthetic uh, nothing of uh, cloying or headache inducing like ck1 this would actually appeal to people who actually like uh, their florals. This is kind of like a floral green. Afterwards, it will be followed by creamy vanilla and a little bit of musk. That's what I pick from this. So fruits, fig leaves, a uh, little bit of rose at the heart. It's like somewhere at the heart. There is rose. Little, remind me a little bit of Dolce & Gabbana Mysterious Night, but much better. And then followed by the vanilla. If you are fans of those notes, try this. It does smell a little bit like... Uh, pink prestigium somewhere you know like the freshness of pink prestigium <sighs> yeah this fragrance a little bit of dna in this because mansara they have the common dna so they have that beautiful uh, florals at the heart so i think women would love this men would like it too but if you do not like florals once again uh, maybe you should stay away from this this is extremely potent i mean if the performance you talk about it will last project hours after hours no problem when would i wear this i would say fall spring a little bit let's say uh, breeze and a little bit drizzling like what's happening in bangladesh right now cold weather uh, breeze is flowing that's when you wear it it will transport this beauty to other people's noses okay absolutely absolutely beautiful gorgeous fragrance it's just uh, silky smooth and it's just vibrant it's breezy and it's not too thick okay so that's those are some good things in it is there any wood in this do not detect any wood but uh, may perhaps touch of a uh, nutmeg or something spicy in it reminds me of kind of like declaration don soir but declaration don soir has that creamy sandalwood which i do not detect from this that much but touch of touch of maybe sandalwood in this so these two if you like this you definitely love this this is more a uh, uh, niche version of declaration don soir which is already very high class and i believe uh, someone said uh lelabo santal or lelabo uh, le noir or something i forgot the name i think i detect that sandalwoody sort of DNA from Lilabo that I sniffed before. So yes, you're getting a quality product and not just a pretty bottle. It's, it's, it's very pretty in the shelf, but definitely check it out. I would highly recommend this. It's really, it's just a masculine, it's like a 50-50, right in the middle, unisex, board, not borderline, it's just unisex. 
uh, guys can definitely wear it and enjoy it right uh, where can you wear it I, I would recommend it perhaps uh, dates you know it's very romantic smelling and if you're going to maybe watch a movie or theater you're going with your loved ones definitely Valentine's Day definitely uh, I would say cold nights dinner plans wear this put some on your leather jacket it will smell really beautiful leather plus floral it will smell really nice so yes uh, just do not go overboard with the spray it's very very strong so purple flowers very impressive very impressive I love the house of Mansara and many people do not like Mansara it's okay uh, we like different things some people say it's synthetic house whatever uh, I don't bother for it I love what I love so yeah thank you Masud Bhai once again thanks for uh, recommending this Mr. Bond Creek guy I really am grateful finally got this uh, thanks to you brother uh, I'll put his ch channel link below please check his channel out very nice guy a uh, very passionate guy he talks about fragrances like you want to you're listening to a story right so Mr. Bond Creek guy I would like to meet you uh, join us in our page Frakkom Bangladesh and everybody have a nice day and check out purple flowers it's uh it's really beautiful fragrance because I love uh, the note of the rose that Mansara does. Everybody have a blessed day and uh, stay warm. Uh, take out your jackets and hoodies. Time for the winter to be starting. I'll see you soon. Ta-da.